Hi everyone, my name is Nick. I'm an electrical engineering student at Stanford University, and this is the first and what I hope will be a series of videos discussing various medical technologies. So what I want to show you today is a piece of software that I think is really cool, and what it is is a webcam-based pulse rate monitor. So this does exactly what it sounds like. It takes in video input from the webcam and then uses some really nifty image processing techniques to measure your heart rate by looking at your face. So what I'm going to do is give you a really basic overview of how this technology works and then we'll run a demo which should be pretty cool. Alright, so this is the actual program that we're using. It's called the Webcam Pulse Detector and was developed at the NASA Glenn Research Center. So we have this question, how do we measure our heart rate from our face? And I'd like to first ask a simpler question which is, what changes occur in between frames of video? If you think about a video as a series of images lined up next to each other, what's really changing is that the colors change at each pixel from one image to the next. And this is exactly what the software uses to measure your heart rate. So we're going to go through what this software would do on just one picture using this really gorgeous selfie that I took. So what happens is that the software first looks and finds out where your face is. And then from that space, it determines an area which it thinks your forehead will be at and then it removes the red and blue components of the image so that it's only looking at the greenness. And what happens is that it just measures the amount of green in that little square, and as the green goes up and down, that's the same rate that your heart is beating at. Now what's actually happening is that blood is coming through your face and then leaving as your heart beats, and this is too hard to see with the naked eye, but you can see it with a webcam and the computer. So what happens is that greenness goes up and down, and there you go, you have your heart rate. If you want to know more about this actual algorithm, I'd encourage you to check out the MIT Eulerian Video Magnification Project. It's a lot fancier than what I'm showing you right here, and it's pretty cool. Alright, so this is the screen capture of the program actually running. I was going to try and lift some weights and try and raise my heart rate while running the demo, but the software is actually pretty sensitive and it takes a while to reload if you move around a lot. So I'm just going to stand here or sit here and uh, talk to you about how it works. So you can see the square around my face and then you can also see the little rectangle on my forehead. And if you, can, if you look closely, you can actually see that the green is being amplified so that it's actually pretty obvious when what my heartbeat is. Um, so then on the side, I don't really know what the top graph is, but the middle plot is the amount of green going up and down. And then the bottom plot is the frequency content. So it's basically the program trying to guess what my heart rate is. So this is a, just a really cool piece of technology that I wanted to share with you. Um, there's a lot of things that this could lead to. I know that MIT is actually doing research to try and see if they can also monitor your blood pressure via video. And that would be pretty cool. Um, I also think that once this technology is perfected, you have a really good system for a low-cost heart rate monitor. Um, and then there's also other cool things you could do, like you could try and make an app for lie detection that takes people's videos and measures their heart rate in response to questions. Or you can make like a dating service where people chat with each other and then if two people make their heart rates go up, they get connected or they are notified that that happened. Um, so yeah, so it's just a really cool piece of technology. Um, that I want to share with you. I uh, hope you enjoyed.